So this week marks the first week of the CrossFit Open. The Open is the first qualifying stage of the CrossFit Games. So the purpose of the Open is to find the fittest athletes in each region to move on to regionals. And it's also an opportunity for athletes at all levels to participate in the competition, whether it be for fun, just get a good workout and uh, see how well you do. I'm not exactly participating in the CrossFit Open. I'm just doing the work just to get some good exercise. This week it was three wall walks, 12 dumbbell snatches and 15 box jump overs. I was doing the scaled version, which means you only have to crawl up half the wall and you have to get as many reps in as you can in 15 minutes. And I was getting pretty exhausted after a few rounds, as you could see. Now we've reached the end of the workout and clearly I'm exhausted. It was a tough workout, but I'm glad I did it and I got through it. I ended up getting through seven rounds and 21 reps after that. If I were to be scoring it, that would be 231 reps. What do I do after working out? Hello, welcome back to Manitha's Method. This week, I thought I would share my post-workout routine with you guys. Um, you just saw me do the CrossFit Open this week, which um, it was a tough workout. And now I look like disgusting. So now I got a shower and go through my post-workout routine that I do most, almost every day, yeah. Also, I wanted to show you something. This is my new cute little gym bag that I take to the gym with me. I have my wrist straps in here and my like rig grips um, and things like that. I also have some lotion and I can put my phone and my water bottle in here and my wallet. Normally I walk to the gym so I can have my headphones in here and stuff like that too, but if it's cold out, then I drive and there's free parking there, so that works out. But yeah, it's just a cute bag that I really like that Sona got for me at Target. So I thought I'd show you guys, super adorable. So let's get started with my routine. First things first, gonna go ahead and turn the water on. Then I get the shower going so the water can be a good temperature by the time I get in. But it, I don't really usually take a shower that's like crazy hot or anything, but I just like to have it running right as I get into the shower. Today's gonna be a pretty quick, like five minute shower because I don't wash my hair every day and today's the day I will not be washing my hair. I do wash it every like three days, I would say. It doesn't ever get too greasy or anything. Then I step out, dry off, and go ahead and moisturize. I do love Aveeno Daily Lotion, so I moisturize every day. And I go ahead and put on my outfit, which I set out before I get in the shower and keep the curtains closed because I don't want everyone seeing me. Then I go ahead and come back to the bathroom and take my hair down out of its bun. And it really needs some fluffing and brushing because it's been like tied up for a while at this point and it's it was sweaty and stuff so I do like to take my time brushing it out then I gotta take all the hairs that got stuck in my brush out and get them in the trash so I don't like pile up on the hair in my brush and then next I will go ahead and moisturize my face with live tinted hue guard it's a three-in-one mineral sunscreen moisturizer and primer broad spectrum SPF 30 and I do really like this product it tastes kind of weird though. I accidentally got some in my mouth once and it tastes so bad. So I go ahead and wash my hands after. That way I can go ahead and put Aquaphor Healing Ointment Advanced Therapy Lip Balm onto my lips. Then I gotta get my deodorant on because I don't wanna smell stinky and sweaty next to people. And then moisturize my hands and arms in the end. That's my bathroom routine. Then I head back into the bedroom and set a pillow up as a backrest to do some meditation. Alexa, set a 10 minute timer. I just ask Alexa to set an alarm for 10 minutes. Sometimes I just need a reminder that I'm right where I'm supposed to be. Try to get some positive vibes in, negative thoughts out. Alexa, stop. Once that timer goes off, I can put this pillow back where it belongs and then I go ahead and braid my hair because I don't like it when my hair gets in my face and stuff while I do the rest of my things for today. I will then slip on my little home shoes, my home slippers, head up the stairs and make my protein shake. 
I grabbed the blender, get that plugged in and ready to go. Got my little blender mug thing and the blade, get the water. And then this is the plant-based protein that I like. It's got 20 grams of protein and it's only 160 calories. I like the chocolate shake flavor. This one actually does taste pretty good. Also over here, it says you can use it to make your protein shake or you can bake it into cookies or something like that. Then I throw in a dollop of peanut butter as well because yum. Usually I also put fruit in, but um, I didn't have any fruit today, so I didn't have anything to add to it. But I like to add like apples or banana to that shake. This has been like my go-to protein shake for a while now. It just tastes so good. And then I will rinse the blade right away because I don't like it when it just sits there for a while. I don't want like the, I don't know, powder and mixture to just like stick to it like gunk. Then I take a seat at my desk and check out my to-do list for the day, try to get some work done and stay focused. And that is my post-workout routine. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next week.